now let's come to the life of Imam al Hadi alayhi salam. And let us learn from this great personality and how he promoted righteousness and forbid evilness. You know very well, my dear Mu'minin and Mu'minat, the whole essence of this deen that we have evolves around promoting righteousness and forbidding evilness. Don't allow evil to take place. And don't allow evil to happen. In place of evilness, promote goodness. Don't allow corruption to happen. In place of that, promote justice and fairness. You know Imam al-Hadi, like in the case of any other Imam, was examined with a tyrant, Mutawakkil al-Abbas. Narration mentioned, my dear brothers and sisters, on one middle of the night, the whole city was dark. Narration mentioned it was in Baghdad. Mutawakkil al-Abbas sent one of his henchmen by the name Yahya ibn Harthama to go and bring Imam al-Hadi to him. In the middle of the night, there was no light. It was too dark. Narration mentioned this, Yahya ibn Harthama, while on his way to the house of Imam al-Hadi, he lost his way. Because it was too dark. And he had no light with him. Imam al-Hadi alayhi salam. Imam knew that man, Yahya ibn Arthama was coming. Imam sent one person from his house to go and guide Yahya ibn Arthama to his house. This man came to Yahya ibn Arthama and he showed and guided Yahya ibn Arthama to the house of Imam al-Hadi alayhi salam. Yeah, when he came, he was under the impression that Imam was hiding weapons. And Imam Billah had bad intention that he was going to attack Mutawakkil al-Abbas. This person entered the house in the middle of the night. He went one room after another, one room after another. He saw nothing, there was nothing. There was no gun, there was nothing. And then the final room he entered, he saw Imam al-Hadi. What was he doing? He was praying, supplicating, glorifying Allah wa ta'ala. Yahya ibn Arthama sat next to Imam al-Hadi. And he said to him, I checked all around and there is no any gun. But I've been tasked to bring you. I need to take you. Imam al-Hadi said, Yalla, take me. They went to Mutawakkil al-Abbas. Mu'minin and Mu'minat. When they got to the palace or the house of Mutawakkil al-Abbas, Mutawakkil was sitting with his people and they were drinking alcohol. Intoxicants. You know what he did, Mutawakkil? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raju. He invited Imam al-Hadi to come and drink. Imam al-Hadi looked at him and said to him, These cannot mix with my flesh. Yani this cannot enter me. Then Motawakil looked at Imam al-Hadi and he said to him, if that is the case, then I would like you to sing a song just to entertain us. He said to Imam al-Hadi. Imam al-Hadi looked at him and he said, I don't sing. I don't sing. Then he said to me, it's either you render something or you leave this world. This is my point, my beloved brothers and sisters. Imam al Hadi alayhi salam used that opportunity to promote righteousness and forbid evilness. How? People were sitting there. Sometimes forbidding evilness doesn't mean targeting the one who is causing or committing that sin. But rather those people who are around him also. So Imam al-Adi began 
to render a powerful poem. In this poem, it's a long poem. Imam al Hadi referred them to their selves and asked them to reflect on their lives. Imam al Hadi invited them to think of dunya and what dunya present in San Tu. He invited them to remember the dunya is very, very limited. And a person can easily get carried away by dunya. Imam al Hadi salam, did not attack even Mutawakil Abbas. Let alone those people sitting around Mutawakil al Abbas. He did not wage war against Mutawakil al Abbas. Where are the activists within our communities? Don't start attacking people. When you see something you think is wrong that they are doing. The best way is to call them with a hikmah, with wisdom. In a very diplomatic way or indirect way. They may not know they are doing something wrong. Even assuming they know there are ways of guiding people and showing them the way. Imam al Hadi alayhi salam continued to render that poem. You know what happened? Mu'mineen and Mu'minat. Some of those, according to narration, who were sitting around with Awakil Abbas, they changed their minds. They became guided through the poem rendered by Imam al Hadi alayhi salam. Narration mentioned they became mu'mineen and they submitted wholeheartedly to Allah wa and they brought or they testify that Imam al Hadi is indeed the rightful Imam and the Imam of the Ajah.